What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Warlock Challenge. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only Midnight Wolf. Hello, everyone. Uh, if you guys did not see the last episode, you need to go do that right now because we had a Warlock. And, uh, spoiler alert, in uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, I got wrecked by Midnight. Absolutely destroyed. Um, it was close. It was close. It was one of the closer matches. It was fun. Uh, Midnight definitely uh, had had that upper hand, uh, and but I lost ooh. that upper hand. You did. <laughs> Midnight lost the upper hand. We kind of uh, kind of met in the middle right there, where uh, Midnight took away our Mimikyu, but uh, in return, Midnight did lose a powerful, powerful Pokemon in Tauros. Unfortunately, uh, Midnight, do you want to explain what happened? Well, I was an idiot. Story done. Um, no, so, <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh, I was like, you know, these powerful Pokemon. You know, we can battle them. We can we can encounter with them. We can get some experience on them. I found a Dewblade, and I was like, yeah, I have Throat, throat Chop on my Tauros. That'll kill it. I didn't even clock what the level was until I clicked the move, and then I realized, like, oh, that's level 56. I'm level 30. And it just went jazoom with its sword and mm. sliced my Taurus's head off. Um, blood and guts everywhere, unfortunately. Um, Eaten bull tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have got bull burgers, uh, to say the least. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, we're listening to it was very, very unfortunate. We are listening to Bead talk right now to uh, Alenia and uh, the mighty uh, crooked Chairman Rose. The rose in those shorts and jumper combination looks excellent. He he is enjoying Wait. his days off. You know, I judge him for that outfit, but at the same time, this morning I was literally wearing shorts and a hoodie, so um, I don't feel like I can judge him for it. Was it raining? No, no? it was just the fact that um, I had someone coming to fix some chips on the windscreen of my car, mm. and I couldn't be bothered to put a t-shirt on, so I put a hoodie on instead. There you go. You had a reason. As you do. Alright. Come on, Chairman Rose. We're tired of this. We gotta get to the, the, the gosh darn warlock. He's telling us about the energy usage of the country, and he's like, no, there's too much. The Industrial People, you Revolution. Know, using whisks for everything like mm. even if they want to stir their porridge they're using a the whisk for it mm. so let's harness the power of pokemon let's harness the power um, of a, a an egg do you want me to tell you something i think it is an egg at this point it is yeah it's still an egg right now i guarantee you i have something to tell you midnight oh the last time i did a challenge run of this game okay yeah. Um, official all the way through was the cage lock. And I will tell you that fighting the gosh darn Eternatus was challenging. I can imagine. Mm. It was hardcore. Oh, hello, Leon. You ran out of the old Leon. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's such a uh... cool character, but it's weird for him wearing shorts and then whatever that is under his shorts. Oh, that's Under Armour. That's quite common. Oh, really? Like, yeah, it's, re it's really common with, like, especially kind of, like, late kind of autumn, sort of. Hmm. Um, people will, like, run with Under Armour and shorts on. Really? Yeah, like, I think it, it's a, a relatively common style. Not just like, not the like Under Armour by itself. everyone. No. Hmm. Okay. I mean, sometimes that Under Armour can be quite tight and... Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. It all makes sense now. There is a Gastrodon just sat oh, there right is here a with a Rhydon. Right Hello, Rhyhon. What a cool Hello, character. Man, I really like his character. He, it's freaking he awesome. He is awesome, and I want his jacket. I bet you they make it. They probably do. I really, really would love his jacket. I think when he... Have we ever seen him wearing the hoodie? Um, I'm not sure because it, it looks like dragon teeth, you know, and the 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 pull strings, the tight oh, the hoodies, hoodies, yeah, look like uh, whiskers. Yeah. Well, 
Alright, I'm walking around this castle. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be intimidated if uh, the gym leaders of a of a region was Raihan, <laughs> Brawly, uh, Kahuna, Hal, and uh, Bead would be also intimidating. Who's Al? Hal? The, uh, oh, Hal. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you said Al, and I was like, who's Al? <laughs> Is it, he's the guy that owns the toy barn in Toy Story. To be fair, that would be quite <laughs> yeah, intimidating him seeing too. him there. <laughs> just, where's my Woody dog? Al's toy barn. <laughs> I've been looking for one of these for years. <laughs> no. I gotta drive all the way to work on a Sunday. All the way to work! <laughs> that was the uh, one of the funniest things to me as a kid. I gotta drive all the way to work. All the way to work. <laughs> He's like right across the street. <laughs> uh. It is too true. Like you know. Mm. Although that being said, I have an hour hour commute to work every day. Oh, so. oh that's a, that's quite a bit of a drive. I got at least a thirty it's... minute. Mm. At least a little thirty minute chunk. But um, man. there's just some some lines in movies that just never get old for me. Uh, yeah. You know, all the way to work. That that was one that was really funny for me. Uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas. We're getting close to the uh, holiday seasons, and uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas uh, with Jim Carrey is a favorite <laughs> of mine. Yeah. Uh, my favorite is uh, when he's eating all the uh, hoop porridge, and uh, they're they're shoving all the pudding in his mouth, and the guy goes, "This is not pudding," and then he puts it in his mouth. He's like, "What is it? What is it?" <laughs> Oh, uh, Jim Carrey. I just comedy. love the um, the hmm, 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 <laughs> hmm. That's it. I'm not going. <laughs> Gets all ready to go. Yeah, not, <laughs> not even close. You leave my silly cobra alone. How dare you? I mean, it's a silly cobra falling asleep in the middle of the road, isn't it? So yeah, that's true. Oh, you apparently you can say no to that battle and um. They tell you to turn away. Oh. And I was hoping they'd be like, just... oh, you don't want to fight? Okay. Oh, yeah. You want to you want to take the diplomatic way out? Yeah, fine. Do it. I am very nervous for this 6v6. I am not even going to lie to you. I feel like we are potentially going to have to do a small amount of grinding. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like our teams aren't quite ready for the carnage. The, the the chaos that will be 6v6 and it will also give us opportunity to get secondary Pokemon up in case one of us gets completely just molly whopped discarded into the uh, into the unknown apparently <laughs> into the unknown I, I really enjoyed some of the songs in Frozen 2 sorry uh, no I, I know my uh, my partner will just randomly start my partner loves the one with Kristoff Really? Oh. Um, I forgot that one. I can't remember what it is. It's the it's like the like the boy bandy one. Mm. I know it. I just I can't remember. Yeah, I, I, I've only I've only watched Frozen two once, so I, I honestly cannot remember. Yeah. I cannot remember it. Uh, do not want me that. Um. I defeated the Team Yell Grunt. Did, did Hop get beat? Hmm? I think Hop lost to the guy with the banner. Oh, he does. That's why we have to battle him. Yeah. Because he uh, also gets, like, murdered just... by Beat as well. And then that's why he keeps changing his team up. Yeah. Just, you know, just, just, just get good. Like that's that's the advice. Just get good. Get good. Just get um, good. Midnight Wolf twenty twenty one. Get good. That is the uh, that's your banner for when you win all your draft leagues. <laughs> yeah. My opponents just need to get good. That's it. They just, just need get to get just, good. Every one of them. Just get good. Just just get hacks. That's it. <laughs> get hacks. Win. I know. Um, today I actually recorded. This will be good. Like this other video will go out well before. This video mm -hmm. is out. Um, I was doing a uh, UK versus USA um, mm -hmm. 
a two like a, it was a multi battle two v two, um, and that was just absolute chaos, really, uh, from start to finish, <laughs> and it was heaps of fun. Um, the video is like an hour and twenty minutes already, um, so we need to cut it down. That sounds fun. But yeah, we did a free for all at the end, and I just got like I was the first one defeated because everyone just wanted to bully me. <laughs> they want to um, take it down. Now let me ask you this. Was it Galar Pokemon versus Unova Pokemon, or were we talking just regional? The the, the players in the battle were from those regions. Uh, we did it so we designed the teams uh, so that we had um, representatives of mm -hmm. like the UK and USA. So, for example, uh, we had Lapras as the Loch Ness monster. Mm -hmm. um, Poltergeist was Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, what was it? I had Mr. Rhyme as Boris. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember what else we had. What about the US? Uh, US, they had Braviary, obviously. Yep. Uh, they had Persimian for, like, American football. Mm -hmm. They had... Totodile would have been nice. Uh, I... uh, they, they, they had Crocodile for Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, they had Gudra for Obesity. Yeah, fair, fair. Which uh, we we were tickled by that. That's fair. Um, they have the Liberty Bell. They have Bronze. Oh, okay. And I think that might be, uh, that might have been all they had. Hmm. Can I think of any other ones for myself? They could have they could have added Behem and LGM for all the because that's what they were made for. Um. The alien sightings and Area Fifty One. True. Um. Who else could they have added? So <laughs> I just had a situation. Uh huh. Um, battling a Fable, mm -hmm. it uses Metronome. Mm -hmm. It's against a Rhyhorn. Mm -hmm. The Metronome goes for Land's Wrath. Oh, I had a minor seizure. <laughs> oh man! To, to say the least, that I was gonna lose another Pokemon. Mm. Luckily, it was okay. I'm glad it worked out because that could have been yeah. detrimental. That would that could have been absolutely disgusting, mm. and I'm glad it wasn't. Um. All right. How do you, let me let me quickly look over my team real quick. How do you feel about all of our little baby Pokemon that are still resting in the PC box? How do you feel about possibly getting them up to level twenty or thirty off screen prior to, or maybe we should pick the Pokemon that we plan on taking to the gym and then after that every get everybody up to to level twenty or thirty. Uh, yeah, that actually, I think, yeah, for the next episode, mm -hmm. get everyone up to level 30, okay. I think will be a good, good shout. Gotcha. Um, and then we can kind of go into the gym. Basically, uh, yeah, yeah, so get everyone up to level 30, mm -hmm. but use Pokemon in the gym that, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, what do you use mean? Use Pokemon in the gym, like, the po <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, use uh, Pokemon that we have been using in, in the gym, sort of gotcha. thing. So, yeah. I have the Pokemon that I think I'm going to put into the gym. Um, I need them to be higher level. At least two of them. Um, yeah, I need all of mine to be higher levels. Man, oh man. This 6v6 battle is going to be insane. It is. It really, really is. The same Clefable, better not. What if it metronome guillotines me? <laughs> that would be. Oh, it hit me with a hurricane. Oh wow, and it hit uh, as well. It did. Yowza! But it is thankfully in range for my next attack. Good job. That is changing.
Yeah, I think I'm soon going to do some trade evolutions. Mm. And get them evolved. Okay. Not this episode, I don't think, but I think in a very soon episode. Gotcha. You can just go in there. I would not be opposed to uh, recording our training sessions. And uh, doing like a cut up video for all the evolutions that are gonna happen. Oh, that, that could be good. I wouldn't oppose. Possibly that. a little grind montage as well. Yeah. I mean, would not mind cool. that. And we got, you know, there's some good songs now that. Uh... So let me ask you this question. I don't know how, how keen you are on the YouTube policy for copyright, okay? Right. So the YouTube shorts, right? Mm -hmm. They allow you to use music. Um, that YouTube allows you to use. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. So YouTube is allowing me to use these this this song for yeah. the shorts. Does that also mean I can use them in my videos then? Uh, probably not. Okay. Because you can only use um. 10, 15 seconds of it or something? Yeah, or it's, 60 it, seconds because of it, it's, a, it's a limited amount of time mm -hmm. using that song, and it also needs to be not the focus of the video. Gotcha. From what I remember with copyright, okay. although copyright is a very <laughs> dangerous area. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I need to update my Pokelink. Mm. Let's change someone out. And I can't remember who I actually put in. Uh, that one. I'm actually kind of scared of this little guy that I'm fighting. Never mind. T if this Pokemon hits it, we're all good. Good job, Clay. Why does Helioptile learn Bulldoze? It, I didn't know it did. No, I, I just found out it did. Wow. Why? <laughs> like... It is a little tiny Pokemon. What's that going to be bulldozing down? Like punting across the room. Like a uh, a, li a little leaf. <laughs> Knocking down a leaf. Gosh darn. Knocking down those leaves. Time to get some heals. The Helioptile is also a really scary mon. Which one? Helioptile. Yeah. I'm kind of low key afraid of the Pokemon that it actually is based off of. Those frilled lizards are kind of intimidating. They are. Very true. I plan on coming back to battle the rest of the trainers, but getting through all the story bit in the town ahead of us would not be yeah. too bad either. Is the story bit before or after you do um, B, though? Good question. Because I feel like it's after. I think so. I feel like the bead stuff is all afterwards. Hmm. But I feel like you have to go and talk to Sonya. And they come in and destroy the thing? Yes. Gotcha. I think so. I... Yes. <laughs> That's just my my, 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 yes. my response. <laughs> Don't. Not 100% sure, but whatever it is, yes. What happens? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I am now the yes man. <laughs> whatever you say, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I really wish they actually, you know, I could see it. Have you seen the, the sculptor guys that are carrying the Pikachu uh, sculpting? Or it appears to be a Pikachu, but actually has a really long tail for it to be a Pikachu. Oh. I w what if that's a uh, a shout? A Raichu, maybe. Oh. I, I think it's even too big to be a Raichu. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Neutralizing gas is actually a threat to my team. <laughs> yeah, I don't think too many of my mons rely on their abilities. Hmm. Reggie Gigas uh, paired with uh, Galarian Weezing would be crazy. That is a legit tactic in uh, VGC. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, you also have gastro acid and agarnadel. Yeah. As well. Um, that's quite commonly used. Really. I know in my one of my new because I've got two new leagues starting up. Mm -hmm. One of them uh, is a doubles, and I'm going for um, G Max Venusaur, mm -hmm. and I've also got Torkoal, so I've got a nice little sun mm. sun mode. There you go. Which is pretty exciting. I'm really excited about about using this here. I've got a lot of Mons, but I've, one I've never used before because when I draft, I try and use Mons that I haven't used, mm -hmm. um, or at least like I don't know. Eight out of ten normally have to be mons that I haven't used before in draft league. Oh, I really hope this is your evolution at this level. <laughs> it's not. Oh, but I have a rare candy. Yo. Let's see. What are they selling at? The, what, what's today's bargain? It's a Mystic Water. Hmm. Too fat. I might actually be worth buying. You want to watch Opal walk up the stairs and it takes six years? Only six years? Wow, she got a move on. <laughs> she actually Ooh. increased her speed a little bit since last time I was there. <laughs> I think Mer did did Murkrow make it into the game? It did not. Mm. Mighty did not. Ina didn't make it into the game, and I know that my good friend Shade of Defeat was a little upset about that. Yeah, I'm not but... particularly happy about it not being in. What is this? I... I believe that there was a dang trailer that had a Mighty Ina in it. Could be wrong. Oh, I am battling Hop. <laughs> Could be wrong. Uh, I honestly, I don't think I really covered the lead up to Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. So I honestly have no idea at all. I got something that you wish you got. What, they were selling protect a protector. protector. Yeah. Um, this is pretty bad for me. Uh, you. So, what? Tensor Crawl is one of my favorite competitive Pokemon. Really? Like, I absolutely Rapid love it. Rapid Spinner, I guess. Spinner, it has access to Scold, so it can burn. It has Acid Spray. Mm. Um, it has Giga Drain for recovery. Uh, it's fast. It has base 100 speed, which is absolutely insane. I didn't even know that. Um, what other stuff you can do is it can uh, be a special attacker. It's got Ice Beam uh, for coverage. Mm. Uh, even Liquid Ooze to stop things like Leech Seed and Giga Drain. Toxic, Toxic Spikes. Wow. Things like that. Versatile. It's, it is a fantastic Pokemon that um, I've been looking to use it in draft. But especially in doubles, but I haven't had the opportunity just yet. Someone else keep taking it? Uh, it hasn't really fit into my teams mm. so far. All right, Hop, time to meet your maker. Right, there we go. We've got Giga Drain again. There we go. Take that thing out. All right, Cramorant. My first reaction seeing a Cramorant, I was like, this thing is insane. It's... Honestly, it's such a weird Pokemon. Like, it's kind of like a Pelipper. Yeah. But, like, less pelipper <laughs> I used to absolutely despise Pelipper. Really? Like, I used to absolutely hate it. Really? Mostly because of its, um... Like, how you would always run into Wingo and Pelipper in Hoenn. Yeah, yeah, okay. All the time. You, you weren't with the uh, Driller Pelipper set? No, no. Driller Pel Dr uh, Drizzle Pelipper with Ludicolo helped me dominate oh, used... early on. Uh, Swish. I used that in um in the LDL just gone. Really? <laughs> yeah, mostly because I inherited the team and it already had them on there. Okay. I was like, yeah, that works. Um, but I then used Kingdra a bit more. Okay. And I preferred Kingdra. I mean, I prefer Polytoad. 
over uh, Pelipper. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'd prefer Poly Polytoad, but I think Polytoad because in doubles, I think realistically the vast majority of uh, weather Pokemon go. Yeah. Because weather control in doubles really quite important. Mm hmm. Also, terrain control is quite big. Yeah. There's a lot. I mean, there's terrain now, weather now, uh, yeah. hazards. Trick room and stuff like yeah. that. A, a good trick room team could literally wall anybody that's not prepared for it. Oh, I love using trick room teams. Hmm. And it makes sense because a lot of the hard-hidden Pokemon are, might be slow. Yes, for sure. A Regigigas trick room team would be pretty uh, interesting. For the first five turns, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then after that, it might be a problem. What's uh, Regigigas' base speed? I think it might be 100. Oh, wow. But don't quote me on that. I feel like it is quite fast. Regigigas trick room? Oh, never mind. I might not be a strat then, actually. Um, I know I've seen Stack Attacker with Trick Room. Hmm. Um, and Gyro Ball. Really? Um, and that honestly is destructive. Especially if it gets like a plus, like, because obviously Beast Boost. Mm -hmm. So it can get to like plus ones really, really easily. Hmm. But where did Opal come from? Jeez. She's still she walking. Jump. She's been walking up the hill on me for at least the last five minutes. <laughs> Electric poison is such an interesting type. It really is. I mean, Opal's walking, to be fair, I think half of it is to do with her skirt. Hmm. <laughs> because that is a very, like, tight on the leg skirt. That probably does not flatter her. You killed my agent. Oh, what? You, you killed agent with drizzle. You killed it. Oh no. No, no. I mean, you, 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 you killed it. I killed it. Yeah, with the you. That's who you choose to kill. Oh yeah, I did, didn't mm. I? Yeah. Sorry. I, I, for some reason, I thought I killed mm. the water turtle. I know I. Ki I was deciding between the two of them. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, drizzle is what you picked. Clay is my I water turtle. I drafted that in. Um, Clay. Clay is I, my I also think they missed out an opportunity to give Clay Doll a um, Galarian form. Mm. With the structures that they've got designed here, it would make mm -hmm. so much sense to have had a Galarian Clay Doll. What type do you think that'd have been? Um, I could have seen it being like Rock Psychic. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what it is? It's ground psychic. Uh, it's ground psychic. Mm. But yeah, based on these designs, like I'm not. It could have been like ghost site, ghost mm. ground, maybe. Yeah. That would have been interesting. I am going to do some grinding. I think. Sounds like a plan I'm actually got one thing I got to do I did not pick the Galarian Corsola I should have I considered it yeah I really did consider it I will never uh, forget I when I had my open it. uh gym leader tournament battles to everybody even people yeah. who weren't in the gym leader challenge um mm. these kids brought uh I did a, what was it? I battled each one of them, but they, they dang sure brought Zashian and Zamazenta. Oh, right, and yeah. And Galarian Corsola just wrecked. They yeah. didn't stand a chance. Yeah, you do get some, like, I notice a lot of, kind of, people use the, uh, the legendaries more often mm -hmm. when they're, they're starting out. Yeah. For me, it was always just, like, obviously, legendaries are, were more 
like exciting in the early Pokemon gyms. Yeah. Like freaking Groudon and Kyogre for the first time were yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, it's always Gen 3 that kind of mm -hmm. sticks out to me with the, the good legends. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, we actually soul linked uh, gosh darn uh, Groudon with Vatini. Wow, yeah. that is a brutal pair. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that is insane. Groudon is, in fact, uh, probably my favorite legendary. Um, but uh, I actually, you know, another funny story. I got this shiny Groudon in Pokemon Go. Ooh. So, and if you haven't seen that thing, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of a greeny color. No, it's uh, gold. Oh, is it gold? Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. And it wanted. Uh, yeah, I was thinking more like kind of a line. Mm -hmm. Not like a, a pastel line. Yeah, no, it's it's completely it's yeah, gold. It's goals, yeah. But uh, they, uh, I got that, which is amazing, and uh, and then we, when it primal evolves, it turns black. Yes, yes, I love the primal evolution. Mm -hmm. I hope. So I really want to see Megas come back. It would be cool. I don't know if I see them coming back, though. Um, Maybe in Gen 4. But I don't yeah. know if I'd... The, them we had them back come back in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Um, I don't know. It'd be interesting, though. I just lost another Pokemon. No, you did not. I, I lost I lost my oh it won't let me run um yeah I lost my ride on because I was a bit of an idiot <laughs> oh no against the Maractus of oh. all things no I just had an evolution so um didn't mean to rub it in but you told me someone died right as someone evolved on my side oh <laughs> oh my goodness mm. um this game is actually kind of brutal if you don't like level up. Hmm. I'm trying to level up things, kind of. Right, okay, we need to change you out. Hmm. Unfortunately, that is my fourth dead mon. Um... Oh my goodness, Midnight, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, it was, it, uh. to be fair, that was more me being. I assumed I was going to outspeed the Maractus, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, I did not. Hmm. Um, so yeah, that was me playing life on the edge. Mm. Oh, no, no. Um, are you going to... I've got to start leveling up some Pokemon. Yeah, I think definitely the grinding is going to be very helpful. I'm putting Frank in the party. I'm putting Frank in the party. Just Frank. So you know. Frank, the uh, Frankenstein wannabe. He is, uh, actually, you're going to really, when you see Frank, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, that is awesome. <laughs> you, you... Yeah, this route is kind of brutal yeah. with Pokemon. They are fast. How's she going to, like, Head back down, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna grind. Let's see. Doug Trio would have been a cool else. Pokemon. <laughs> Doug Trio is kind of a cool mm. Pokemon. Super fast. It is. An Arena mm. Trapper as well. Yeah. Very good Revenge Trapper. Look at Frank growing a whole bunch of levels. <laughs> Like 15 levels at once. Yeah. Oh, Frank's about to evolve. He, he went. He went all the way. Oh wow. Frank, Guess we're not learning that shitty move. It's a Pidgey. Oh okay. Oh, he didn't evolve. Okay. Oh. 
Yeah, level 16 I think it evolves at. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I am not staying in <laughs> in this what kind of horrible. scenario. Man, what if that were shiny? That would have been huge for my team. <laughs> I didn't. You know what's crazy? I almost draft. I almost brought a Torkoal. Oh really? Yeah. I really like Torkoal. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It is. It is a pretty, pretty cool one. If Torkoal was a uh, Pokemon that you could have in real life without it killing you, I would love to have one. <laughs> apparently, apparently Torkoal's win loss record in uh, the Pokemon anime is one hundred percent. It has not lost a single battle. In the anime, yeah. I thought it was the opposite. I thought it hasn't won a single battle. Don't tell me that, because I feel like he... I don't know. I, I might be wrong. I am willing to admit mm. if I'm wrong. But I have this the feeling we, that we it to, was... We gotta look it up. I, I feel like it, it hasn't... It hasn't won a single match. Now, you know what? I really want to watch, speaking of anime and stuff, I need to start catching up on Pokemon Journeys. I haven't, re I haven't really been watching it. It's really good, too. Like, it, it is really good at the interconnected between other regions. Like, Ash and right, Go yeah. go to, like, all the regions. Yes, actually, no, I've said, I, I, I keep tabs on, like, what Go's core, because he catches everything. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. Ash only has one Pokemon as of... Let me see. I'm assuming this is Gen 6 because I see a Noivern. So right. I don't see Sun and Moon Pokemon on here. Nor do I see yeah. uh, anything after that. Um, Frank did evolve. Um, but Gudra has nice. a 100% win-loss record. Yeah. Um... Lapras, Pidgeotto, and Noibat are at 0%. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, Tauros is 20. Torkoal, 22. Snivy, uh, Palpitoad is at 22%. And then it just uh, goes up from there. Right, yeah. Dang, he has a lot of Pokemon that are 50%. 50, 50 Makes sense, though. Yeah. Bulbasaur. Where's Pikachu, though? Pikachu is at 61%. You got uh, Charizard at 65, Scraggy and Gibble at 67, Kingler at 71, Snorlax 73, uh, wow. Crocodile 75, 80 Greninja 83, Infernape and 100 Guja. Nice. Yeah. I mean, he's got cool Pokemon. He's got he's got a lot of awesome Pokemon. Uh, I told you that I was doing the uh, manga red playthrough. I actually need to pick that yes, back did, yeah. up. Um, I just haven't had time to stream because I've enjoyed streaming it rather than uh, filming yeah. episodic installments. But I do plan on, uh, after I have done all the episodes, I do plan on probably shiny hunting on that uh, in that way. Ooh. Um, in addition to more than likely doing some uh gosh diggity darn a full video of me going through all the regions with like a nice over voice to it oh that's that sounds really cool mm -hmm. actually that is the plan i really hope this i can't believe that socks hidden ability is sturdy Is it? I feel like Gluttony would have been way better. I feel like I shouldn't. Or not Gluttony, but I feel like uh, Guts would have been way better. Yeah, Guts definitely would have worked really well on that. Plus, having just the, the Flame Orb Guts, like, because burn damage don't do a whole lot. Yeah. Like, Toxic. See, Zangoose kind of got screwed over with Toxic Boost. Um, Because, you know, Poison. I'll say this. Poison from non-toxic isn't as bad, but still, I, I feel like... Does the, uh, does the damage increase over time, even if it's not badly poisoned? 
Uh, if it's poison, this is it's twelve percent each turn. If it's um, badly toxic, then it doubles every turn. Gotcha. Hmm. So yeah, like normal poison wouldn't be too bad, but there's no way to actually just get normal poisoning easily. Hmm. Whereas you have things like Glyspore, which have um, poison heal, poison heal, which is like one of the best abilities yeah. in the game. Poison Hill Gliscor, um, uh, Poison Hill Breloom is a thing. Um, yeah. Gosh, Breloom. I wanted Breloom so bad. Breloom and Gliscor. If I'd have got those two I, in this game, I'd have been over the moon. I would have 100% had a Breloom. Oh, I'd have 100% had team. a Gliscor and a Breloom. Yeah. But, but like Gen 3, it's hard for me because I really like Trico. So if I play it with just my ferrets, I, I literally have a Trico and a Breloom on my team. Um... <laughs> But uh, Berloom, uh technician boosted Berloom with uh, yeah. you know, fo uh, focus sash, run in, bullet seed, and uh, all the others is just like outstanding. My favorite uh, combination. So I think I we like have to battle the gym. today no, no no i mean uh that is what we're gonna have to do unless the next episode we do a thick old grinding montage um, hmm. um i did not realize how close the third and fourth gym were to each other they are very very close uh we could could do a uh we could do a grind on the Isle of Armor episode, Ooh. and then come back and you can have the the six v six on yours. Mm -hmm. I think that would potentially work. Could be fun. Could also be fun too, because that'd be something cool to see. And I think also, like I don't know about you, but I'm really struggling with grinding in this grass, like with the helium tiles mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, it's just not going You well. want to do that then? You want to do uh, Isle, an old, uh, Isle of Armor run? Yeah, I think an Isle of Armor episode would... Cool. I yeah. think would be... You know what then? I'm the going to fly over to... Uh, gosh darn. Wedgehurst. Wedgehurst Station. And uh, go there. Because we're at 42 minutes. I'm going to have to edit just a little oh. bit of the video out. And uh, we'll do that. Sound like a plan. I think that would be a lot of fun. Perfect. Um, I'll do this right before we leave. I'm going to evolve Frank. Um, and then we should be good to go. I just want to do this for y'all. Y'all can see Frank real quick. Um, see old Frankie evolve. There it is. All right, Frank. There you go. Your nice blue body. Look at him. Look at him. Blue body? Yeah. That is not a Pidgey. It's not a Pikachu. It's not a Pidgey. You said Pidgey earlier. Oh, I did. That's why you said Pidgey. Pidgey's not even in the game. <laughs> no, Pidgey is not in the game. <laughs> uh... It is currently 2.30 a.m. for me, so I, my... <laughs> I apologize. You are absolutely right. <laughs> my my uh, cognitive functions are depleting they're, rapidly. <laughs> they're depleting. Hmm. Right, I will save. Hmm. Okay. Frank has evolved, go. but I need Frank to be up into the top tier numbers here. One more level for Clay, and then Clay's going to be done. Uh, and then I got to get... Everybody else is very close to hitting that 40 mark. Uh, or actually... Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm nowhere near 40. I got a couple that are very close. So I need them to be in that mid-range mark, because we have to beat two gyms. Two. Count them. Two yeah. gyms. So, um, if you guys... You ready for the outro, Midnight? 
Yeah, I'm all good. Perfect. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. If you guys are excited for the next episode, be sure to check the link in the description for Midnight Wolf's channel. Uh, you got to check out the content on there. Obviously, some great VGC stuff, some battle tips, how to build a team, how to build a Pokemon for combat. Um, Midnight, you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, I look forward to the next few episodes. It's going to be exciting. Hopefully... I won't lose Pokemon <laughs> from silly situations, but can't promise anything. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot we accidentally lost somebody. Oh, my goodness. I accidentally lost two oh, in the last man. two episodes. Goodness. I'm just evening up the odds. That's what it is. We are now That's, even now. Yeah, we are yeah. now even. But yeah, it's, it's, it's to totally intentional. But your KD rate is going to be completely different because you have you have <laughs> defeated four of mine. I've only beaten two of yours. So... But, uh, like I said, if you guys did enjoy this, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. But with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>